an end of an era, right? Yeah, I guess so you could say that, yeah. Father started the business in 1938. I took over in 1970 and yeah, it's, it was just time. I, I could feel it. The roots go back to the 30s? Yeah, my father started the business in 1938. Um, he moved here in this building in 1939. Um, originally, um, my uncle um, would install the car radios because back then the radios did not come installed. So he would drill the fenders, put the speakers in, install the radios, and do all that stuff in the area where I have a studio, teaching studio. And um, he, uh, he eventually took on radios and then what they call white goods, which is the appliances. In 1956, he decided that he wanted to sell Wurlitzer pianos and organs. Didn't have room, so he went in partnership with Tommy Silvernail, moved all the white goods down about a half a block to Niver and Silvernail, and put Wurlitzer pianos and organs in here. Um, in the early 80s, Wurlitzer was bought out uh, by Baldwin, and I pretty much downgraded the pianos and organs here and went full line music with guitars, keyboards, band instruments. We did the rentals in the schools. So yeah, it's it's been full line music with me since the early 80s. And your dad did a lot of TVs. Oh yeah, yeah, he did TVs. Um, when, when TVs were in their infancy, uh, it was nothing to see a crew from us to be installing a TV and the antenna in one of the local bars so they could see the fights on Friday night or Saturday night, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, quite often after hours, he would uh, have his guitar and banjo and some friends, Frank Alger and others, and just, you know, kind of jam here. Um, and uh, it, you know, he enjoyed music. He was, he was a person that, if you gave him 15 to 20 minutes with any instrument, he could play you a song. It might be a simple song, like, you know, Row, Row, Row Your Boat or whatever, but, he could play a song. He had that innate ability to do that. It, this has been some of a landmark business, not only in Columbia, in Columbia County, but in Hudson. People just know you. Yeah, um, but it's interesting to see how many people, when we started running the closing sale, would say, you know, I've lived here for 10 years and I've never been in your store. Um, and so it, it's, it's kind of comical when they, you know, come in and, and say that. Well, I've been here since 1939. And, uh, but yeah, it's, we were the third oldest family owned business in Hudson. So yeah, it's, it'll be kind of a sad day on Saturday when I lock the door for the last time. What are you going to miss? Um, I'm going to miss the customers and the interaction. I'm going to miss some of doing some of the service um, on keyboards and guitars and things that I've done. Um, but I'm still going to continue to teach piano and play in church at the Skodak Reformed Church. Um, so I'll still keep active. I, I live in the house that I grew up in, in Clovrick, uh, and raised our kids. Um, so I'm still going to be in the area, so 